For me, dissent is simply the, uh, the ability to question the status quo and to offer optional ways of acting and preaching the gospel. And not just individually, but are able to do it collaboratively. So he or she may not have the ideas, but may create an atmosphere in which people feel they can be trusted in an unfearful way to come up with other ways of preaching the gospel. And when that gift of dissent is lost, the organisation dies. So, presumably, forgive my tongue in cheek here, the church knows this and loves dissent, right? Theoretically, if they follow the, the mission and the story of Jesus, um, they should embrace dissent as an everyday event, as a gift of God. And the question is, why don't they over the centuries? Simply because, as human beings, we prefer order rather than the uncertainty of dissent. And order evokes power, and power reinforces order, and orthodoxy becomes the meaningful word forevermore. In which case, ministries die which were founded in great, with great enthusiasm, but they eventually wilt and die for the lack of dissent. The equivalent would be prophetic, prophetic thinking in action. Um, I like the word pioneer because it makes us reflect again on what is the meaning of being prophetic. Prophetic for me is just questioning the status quo in the light of the gospel. Grief is an important thing, but it's an inevitable experience of sadness over loss. But grief by itself is extremely dangerous. It requires the gift of mourning, which is an active reaction in faith to grief. I, I, I'll argue this afternoon that the Roman Church has been wallowing in an avalanche of unarticulated grief because to mourn is to dissent and unless we allow people to express their anger and their sadness over what they are experiencing through many many losses then those people begin to be suffocated by uh, excessive grief and again lose energy and the prophetic disintegrates. Well, it, to me, at the heart of the gospel is, is the gift of mourning. The gift of mourning is to name what is lost in order to allow the new to enter. And that new is the resurrection in whatever form it may take. So that whole dynamic of the Paschal Mystery is at the very heart, I believe, of refounding. But we, to experience grief is normal. To experience mourning is not normal. Because order does not like mourning. Because mourning requires people uh, to dissent from the status quo. No, no, because we're not just an intellect on two intellectual legs. We are human persons. And uh, grief is something that affects the human body. Um, not just the, 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 the soul. It's, it's, the, it's, it's, we're a human being with body and soul. And we experience loss. And through loss we experience sadness. Even though the loss we know has to happen. But that loss um, must be named, and the naming of it is the ritual of mourning. And this is where pioneering is so crucial. Because if you're not leading a spirituality of mourning as an integral part of your ministry, you are in danger of suffocation.